Hello YouTubers! I'm not an expert. Today we're looking at a Jorgensen number 102 hand plane. It's a low angle block plane. It's very small. I picked this up at a flea market for $10. I looked it up online and it's on the Lowe's website for $14.98. So I didn't get any great deal, but I thought it might be something fun to look at. It's an odd little plane. It's a very small little block plane. Um, take a quick look. It's very orange. Again, it's, it's Jorgensen. And they have their name written on it. It's very heavy. It's uh, quite weighty. It's, it says it's made of ductile iron. The bottom is nice and smooth. I checked it with a straight edge. It appears to be quite straight. Uh, it's got a little dimple in it. That's interesting. It's uh, Let's take a look at the construction. It has a little button or spot to put your finger, not really a knob, but just kind of a touch pad. It looks nice. I don't think it's really certainly necessary. Let's look at the construction of this. So it has kind of standard block plane construction, just in miniature. The, uh, the cap iron here is, and it feels like pot metal, like a, a die cast, you know, maybe a Zamic. It's light. Um, the screw here, the tensioning screw is uh, let's see if we can take it off. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a pretty coarse thread to it. It's pretty nicely made, though, considering it's a you know very inexpensive tool. Let's take a look at the blade. We'll pop the blade out. The blade. So will that focus? Yeah. Uh, there's the edge. I, sh I I use this a little bit just to test it. It is ground, nice and square, but not honed. Uh, you may see a little bit of polishing along that edge. That was from my testing. The back has not been flattened. It's got a uh, little grinder marks on it. It's got some sharp edges. So it's a little crude, but uh, seems like a nice piece of metal. Probably the standard of most plain blades. About an eighth of an inch thick. I think on the package here, it says that it is a Pro 01 3 millimeter blade. So I assume that means 01 steel. Flat and square, ductile casting, limited lifetime warranty. Let's take a look at the body of the plane. Okay, orange paint, uh, a lot of machining there. It's a substantial bed for the blade. Probably the easiest way to make it, but it, it's real solid. That's kind of nice. And you can see the machining and everything on the adjustment screw. That's yeah, get it focused in. That's pretty nice looking. So actually, I'm kind of impressed. I did not think when I picked this up that it would be anything but sort of kind of uh, flimsy, and it's not. It's quite substantial. Let's put the cap in, and we'll tighten that down, and we'll take a look. Oh, I'll extend the blade. Let's let's adjust the blade out. Loosen that up just a little bit so it adjusts a little easier. It's not super smooth. Back that off. Tighten it up a little bit. Okay, I got a little bit of an edge there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I started off a little thick. Let me dial it back. See if I can get it to where it's not cutting. That's not it. Okay. It's not cutting. And we'll put up. It's a little slop there, but that's to be expected. After all, I paid $10 for it. Dial it forward a little bit. And a little dust. Okay, there's some shaving starting. Okay, that's pretty thin. Pardon me while I blow on that. Let's see. The only side to side adjustment is kind of to squeeze it with your hand. So let's see if I get that a little better. Okay, it needs a little bit more bite. Okay. So there's a shaving. Now that's a little on the thick side, but I couldn't quite get it to bite thinner. And I think I might need a sharpening to do thinner than that. But that's a, actually a pretty thin shaving. And it shaved. I did a pretty good job, really, with factory sharpened edge. Uh, let, me do a, let me do a little beveling with it. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Can you see? Do a little on the back. Get some of that out of there. I'll increase the bite a little bit. Let 
I always imagine when someone's getting a plane this small, they're probably using it for beveling edges or rounding wood off or something like that. Because I kind of wonder, what would you need such a tiny plane for? Let me get a, uh, a block plane. So here's a regular, actually this is a little bit larger than some. It's a Stanley block plane. I forget the model. No, it doesn't say on it. You'll recognize it. So there's that plane. Get the wood out of the way. So there are these planes next to each other. And you can see it's small. <laughs> it's dainty. Um, but it seems to work pretty good. And it's actually made pretty nicely. Uh, you get $15 at Lowe's or if you're lucky like me, $10 at a flea market. What do you use it for? I don't know. Um, I might leave it laying around here because it doesn't take up a lot of shelf space just for doing the beveling of a, of a quick edge, knocking an edge off. Let's see. I just thought of this. Let me get my wood in here. Can I bevel on end green with it? You know what? I mean, it's not, you know, it's, it's not sharpened up, so it's not going to make a beautiful finish. But that low angle... It's, you know, a little cut end grain. And I bet if I sharpened it up good, it'd probably, probably do okay. Um, still not sure what it's for other than uh, cute. Maybe somebody with a very limited space or you want something to put in your toolbox uh, that you're only going to use occasionally just to knock the edges off things. It could be useful for that. I don't know. Not sure it's a, you know, uh, it's not very expensive. And it's certainly nicely constructed. So I don't know, maybe when I get a few more miniature planes, we'll do some kind of a head to head with those and see like which one's the best or something. But if you, if you know of a task for a plane this size, other than violin making, um, or maybe making shadow boxes, because it's not like a bullnose plane, the, the edge isn't way up there at the tip. So I'm, I'm a little hard pressed to imagine. Where I could need a plane this small, because look at the size of my hand. I still have to get my hand in there. Um, whereas, you know, this is almost, I mean, this is a kind of a large block plane, but so you can see, I, I don't know. I don't see a lot of practical use for it, except for the fact that it's so darn cute. I mean, it's uh, it could be a paperweight, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's just a quick overview of it. If you think of... Uh, Something to do with it, let me know, and we'll catch you later.